A pretty active radar scene at across the coastal bend and also in our viewing area. Now, if you're in Mathis, Orange Grove, you're seeing uh, some lightning strikes and hearing some rumbles of thunder, some claps of lightning out across our north and northwestern counties. And yeah, as I mentioned, Mathis, Orange Grove, Beeville, and out to Refugio, you're seeing a, a good little complex of storms firing off this boundary uh, that's out to our north and west. It's all thanks to an upper level system that's kind of uh, been making headlines over the past couple days. It's been pushing through Houston uh, ever since yesterday and also into Friday, but now it's kind of starting to work into South Texas and with it instability lift. And then when you combine that with daytime heating temperatures and the mid to upper 90s, that's what's helping firing off this line of heavy rain. Uh, now it's not severe. We're not expecting anything as far as hail, uh, just some gusty winds, some moderate to heavy rain, especially if you're in Freer. Uh, if you're going on Texas 16 right now, a little wet out across our western areas and if you're in Mathis, that's where the bulk of it is as of currently now Orange Grove on the outer fringes of it also in the George West Beeville. So you can see in this little cluster right here, uh, pretty electrical as far as this storm is concerned. But here in town, pretty quiet, 86 degrees, partly cloudy, a little haze still in the atmosphere. Thanks to the lingering Saharan dust heat index at 93 degrees. So not terrible as far as the humidity. Matter of fact, dew points or the humidity is down just a touch uh, over the last couple of days. Now high temperatures, pretty impressive, at least above normal. Typically this time of year, we should be around 92, 93. So 94 here in town is not so bad, kind of on par uh, on where we should be this time of year. 96 over in Alice, 95 over in Foul Furious, and a warm 92 high temperature over in Beeville. Now, good news, we have a relief, you know, southeasterly winds, you know, mixing these things up at the surface at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we'll take what we can get. And current temperatures as we head the door for any Sunday night plans, 90 in Alice, 93 in Mathis. And you can see it's a little bit cooler in Robstown uh, and also in Mathis, thanks to some of the rain cool there. And I do anticipate some of these numbers to you know drop down in the next couple hours. The heat index not much of a factor. 98 in Alice and 98 over in Foul Fear. So uh, it's actually warmer elsewhere. Meantime around the country, um, upper level ridge stays pretty dominant over the central plains. Uh, what that means is high pressure is in full control, at least out to our west and also out to the north. Look at you know Phoenix, Arizona, 110 degrees. And remember that's air temperature. And it's pretty dry over there, and you know it's pretty warm in Las Vegas as well in the upper 90s. So high pressure out to our north. You can see uh, the rain and also the severe weather or some of the thunderstorms riding over this upper level ridge. You know, in our neck of the woods, this upper low has been you know creating headlines over the last couple of days. A little instability, a little lift, and as I mentioned, combine that with daytime heating that's firing off a line of rain in our area, in our viewing area, and that's pretty busy out across deep South Texas as well. And it'll continue to do that as this area of low pressure. Or this upper low moves out west, combines with some good Gulf moisture uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. That'll give us rain chances. I do think our best window of rain will be Tuesday until Wednesday, but you know, every day until about Wednesday night, we'll have an opportunity to see an isolated shower or two. Now, high pressure starts to work into the Gulf of Mexico, which will quiet down rain chances, but for the meantime, isolated chance Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we jump up to about a good category as far as seeing uh, scattered activity. As I mentioned, best window of rain. Tuesday into Wednesday. However, there'll be some rain around tomorrow, so uh, just keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans. But look at these temperatures uh, cooler with rain cooled air in the mid to upper 80s. And 4th of July, Independence Day looks fantastic with mostly cloudy skies. All right, that's it for the weather forecast. Keep it here on TV3. Travis Cream of Sports. He's up next.